Hey everyone, Avery Paul here, and happy 4th of July to all of you. And because it's 4th of July, I thought it'd be a perfect time to look at Funko's Five Nights at Freddy's Special Delivery AR Firework Freddy. And as you can see, it's a Walmart exclusive. Really hard to find. I could not find this at Walmart at all. Uh, I had to get this off eBay, so yay, I paid like double the price for it. But I think it was kind of worth it. I, I like this. You see, he's got like shades on he's got a little well a big firework right there uh that's pretty cool he's got some shorts he's rocking some short shorts pretty cool i like it and you know because he's fourth of july he's all decked out in uh flag colors red white and blue pretty cool and if you look over here it just shows firework freddy with the fireworks in the background so nothing special but the back he's a one of a kind in this line. So, why don't we go ahead, get him open, and take a closer look. Alright, so he's out of the package, now we can take that look at it. So first, we got the little rocket here, or, well, firework. Pretty cool, you see it has that. The fuse on the end here, and it's lit, it's ready to go. It even looks a little beat up too, it has like a little indents on it. Pretty awesome. So it's like been used, maybe. Or just old, and for this you just slide it on his hand. I kind of like him holding it this way, with on the inside. That way, it actually looks like he's holding it. Let me just take that off. So it has some stars on it, and then a striped base. Yeah, and if you look, it has a little bit of like a a gold color going across. So we'll put that to the side. So we got Freddy here. Very cool looking. Like I said, he has uh, some above the knee shorts. Well, been damaged. Yeah, he's got some of red stripe and some white stars. Then we got the shirt. Got some damage in the back. And a couple more on the front. Some bigger gashes there. Some thinner ones there, but a little more. You got a little, little pocket right there. You can put some little sparklers in there if you had any. And he's got some more stars on the front. And of course, he has his bow tie. Nice dark red. Like a maroon. And he's got his top hat. Kind of looks like an Uncle Sam hat, doesn't it? From those posters, I want you. Red, white, and blue. Stripes and stars. And he's got a pair of sunglasses. Which, they're white with a clear blue plastic. So you can actually see right through them. Now... I think it would be cool if they weren't stuck to the top of his head, because they are. That way you can actually put them over his eyes, because you can still see his eyes through it. Oh well. I mean, that would have been cool, but I guess then it'd be too easy to lose them, or it wouldn't stay on. Oh, I mean, they could stay on, because his head does have the little, like, divots on the side, the way it's shaped, like a pear. So they would rest right on his, uh, cheekbone area. But, again... They didn't do that. They could have, but they didn't. Come on, Funko. Get your act together. Oh, well. I'm not going to rant and rave about Funko like I did on the last one. So, not doing that. So, he's a typical Freddy. You know, he's got the brown colors. Nothing special. I mean, they do look a little bit lighter in brown compared to uh, the original toy. I think they were, that was a darker brown. I could check. But I don't feel like walking over to the other side of the room. But yeah, I think it's a little different. He's got his blue eyes. Pretty cool. I like it. Even his shirt down here is all ripped up. So not a bad look for him. I, I this is I, I do like the AR figures. Even though I complain about them coming out all the time. I do like them. Especially this one. Uh, because it was, uh, you know, so close to 4th of July. It just makes sense. Although, Arctic Blora came out uh, <laughs> after Christmas, after winter, so I, I don't know. I think it did. I can't remember. Yeah, because I think I was upset about that, too, that it didn't come out for winter, because that would have been perfect. But, uh, yeah, he's got an open mouth. Well, kind of. You can only see the bottom teeth on him. I don't know if it's like that on the other one. I, I think the other one had a closed mouth. Well... He had top and bottom teeth touching, I think. So I'm not sure if this is a different mold or the same mold. 
for the head. But, pretty cool. I like them. Very, uh, patriotic. So, I guess we can go over some articulation. Which, as you know, there isn't too much with these. Uh, the limbs don't move out very far or anything. Joints don't go. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole thing. So, the head can't really move forward. I mean, it has a little wiggle room, but it goes right back to original position. Definitely no side wiggle. You can't go all the way around. His arms will go out to a T-pose. So we got that going for it. And it can spin around. Now we got the elbows. That can spin around, of course, because it's just little ball joints for everything. And yeah, you can take off all the pieces, just like every other Funko FNAF figure. And you can mix and match if you want. At least that's what they claim, because they're so easy to come off, <laughs> even when you don't want them to come off. Like taking him out of the package, uh, this arm came off, got half a leg off. <laughs> so, yeah, this is how it is. Oh yeah, so, back to the elbow. Duh. So, it can't really go up very high. That's as much as you're going to get. And then we get the hands. Those will spin all the way around. And those aren't going to move or anything except for spinning. He has no waist spin. I thought they were going to actually uh, start doing that with the figures now. Only because they did that with the balloon and circus figures. We can move their waist. So I thought it would carry over to the other figures. Maybe it might. I don't know when they decided to make him and then those ones. Uh, like this one could have just got released after those ones did. I don't know, but it, maybe it was conceptually done there. I, I don't know. Beforehand? I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so we got the legs. Move that out of the way. We can go forward that much. I know. That's a whole lot of forward, huh? So that's straight. That's forward. Yay. Heck, even backwards he gets more. Now look at that. Why? Why? Oh well. And you can't really spin these all the way around. Because the uh, doesn't work with how high this part is. It's just going to keep hitting here and coming off. But we got the knee. The knee. You can go back. Actually... It's not too bad. Better than up here with moving forward. So, I mean, yeah, you can get it to look like 90 if you move the whole leg. And it will spin all the way around. Now, the feet on these do not move. They cannot spin. If you keep trying, you'll probably just snap it off. Which is weird. Like I said, the other figures that came out balloon and circus their feet do move the waist and feet so I'm kind of hoping like I said that they carry over that function to the other figures they probably won't I don't know why but they probably won't do that but it's hopeful thinking right so that's pretty much it for this guy not bad though I do like it all right well that's just been my review for Funko's Five Nights at Freddy Special Delivery AR Firework Freddy. And you will have yourselves a very nice 4th of July. Uh, where I am, it's raining, but where you are, hopefully it's sunny and bright. We can launch some fireworks, eat some hot dogs and burgers, maybe have some beers. And as always, you all have yourselves a good one, and I will see you later.